What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll be teaching you how to use the Warp Stabilizer tool. It is a very usable and very easy to use effect. Let's get started. So I am here in my Premiere where I prepared two clips where I will show two different use cases for the Warp Stabilizer effect. As you can see these clips are kind of shaky or like handheld type footage. So that is what you want to apply the warp stabilizer to. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is search for an effect called warp stabilizer. It is this one under the stone and just apply that to your clip. And then it will start analyzing it and stabilizing it. All right, it is done stabilizing. And as you can see, the movements of the handheld camera are a lot more smooth. Basically, what this effect does is it basically stabilizes, crops it and auto scales it for you, but you can decide which ones to use. But one really important thing to keep in mind here is that it auto scales, meaning that if you use this effect on HD footage, for example, some footage that is 1920 by 1080, and your sequence is also 1920 by 80, you will zoom in your clip and you will actually lose pixels in the final rendering. So do not go too ham with this effect. Of course, it doesn't matter if you're editing 4K footage into 10K. Sorry, if you're editing 4K footage into 1080p. But basically, I think you can kind of get around this so it doesn't scale that much. Is that you can change the smoothness, maybe just change it to something like 10%, so it's not as aggressive as 50%. And it will have to stabilize again. But then basically, it will zoom less and it will still kind of work, as you can see. Obviously, it's not as smooth, but you get the point, right? And if we quickly just turn the stabilizer off, you can see that 10% makes a huge difference. All right, I wanna show one more use case for it. So imagine you have this clip, just a still video of someone, but it is filmed on a with a handheld camera because you didn't have a tripod available. What you can do is you can apply the warp stabilizer clip and then change the result from smooth motion to no motion. Just let it analyze, of course. All right, we're done. And basically it will make your footage look like it's handheld. Basically zero movement, right? It looks pretty nice. Let's take a look at before and after. But anyways, that was all I had for this tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment which type of tutorial you'd like to see next. Until next time, take care guys. Bye bye.